idiotic. Lemon. No, sir, you don't have enough shrimp to buy my silence. Also, you are out of shrimp. You know better, Jack. You all know better, except for maybe the really inbred wasps. You think for mentioning God, oh. Sure. You're hypocrites. You believe in the death penalty, but it's OK to kill animals for food? I don't know where I'm going with this yet. Hang on. Hang on. My boyfriend and I aren't married, but we might have a baby together anyway. And I hope it's gay, male gay, because with the ladies, it's too much hiking. But homosexuality is unnatural, right? Then why are there gay dolphins, people? You heard me. They make love to their husbands' blowholes. Let's see that in some science textbooks. Oh, that's right, the whole Texas Board of Education thing that I don't fully remember. Teachers should get paid a million dollars a year. If birth control pills fixed boners, you would get them free with your driver's license. And how do we know that God isn't a tree? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Elizabeth Lemon. And uh, this is what we're up against. Four more years of a president chosen by people like her. She has an iPad subscription to The New Yorker. She vehemently opposes the ivory trade despite the jobs it creates. And in her apartment, there was a black and white photograph where you can almost see a breast. <laughs> It's an original Leonard Nimoy. If we do not defeat Obama, then people like my little friend here will destroy this country. So add a zero to whatever you were planning to give for Romney, for America, for anyone but her. What the hell, Jack? I thought you said I was your chum. You are my chum. The bait I throw in the water to attract the big fish. Damn it, second meaning. 